Okay, te- hello? Testing, testing, testing. You're not wearing headphones. No. Okay. What episode? 45. Okay. Hey guys, it's Justine. And I'm Jenna. Welcome to episode 45 of the Same Brain Podcast. It's the first one in July. Whoa. Wow. Roll that intro. Happy 4th of July. Happy birthday to our sister who had a birthday July 8th. Mm-hmm. Did anything else happen in July? I have no idea. Probably a lot of things happened in July. I'm probably not going to look at you much because it's not comfortable. You got to stop that. I haven't done anything. So the problem is Jenna's not wearing headphones, so she's not going to be able to hear if she's doing weird rustling I'm not going to be doing any wrestling, but we are (laughs) in the basement again of our sister and brother-in-law's house. We have got um, some very nice reclining couch chair action. Quite cozy. Yeah. Do you want to recline? Are you comfy? Should Should we recline? We could recline. Okay. Hold on. It's okay, Maddie. Oh, that's actually way better. Really? Okay, All hold right, on cool. a second. Where did you do that at? Where did you grab Jam that? your hand in the side of the couch. Okay, see, the thing is, we're just going to have to make sure that we're on the same plane so that we're in focus. Am I already jammed back? No. no. Really, give it is a- Is this one broken? Give it a, no, give it a push. So if you're listening- She's trying to figure out how to recline the chair. <laughs> I think it's broken. It's not really. Give it a Give it a good go. So I move while I push- like push back while okay. you pull the lever. Okay, push back while lever? I pull lever. Pull push back. Lever? Is lever <sighs> a word? This feels like a portal episode. Really just go. Oh, jeez. Oh my God. She has figured it out. Maddie, I'm sorry, honey. Don't be scared. Maddie, please come sit with me. You can come sit with me. Sit, with, sit with Jenna. Sit with mommy. Sit with Jenna. Sit with, sit with me. Jenna. Sit come by on yourself. Over. Sit by Jenna. Oh, but sit oh with it's happening. Everyone, the oh. dog has chosen me. He can't get to me though, because That's to fine. be fair, there's an obstacle. So, Welcome to episode 45, everyone. You know, a lot of things have been happening. We've skipped a couple weeks, but I feel like I have a good <laughs> excuse. But before we get to that excuse, we're going to go ahead and read some reviews because it's been a very long time. We absolutely are. This first one says, amazing. Love this podcast. It is calming and makes me laugh. I love both of your YouTube channels as well. Thank you so much. Keep up the amazing work. Wow, we. This next one is a little um, confusing. <laughs> I love one a good- star. What? Absolutely love this podcast. Amazing energy from the from the Anko. No, they've messed Great up. Topic choice. Learn a lot every time I listen. Only reason for one star takes too long to wait. Okay, well you're hurting our ratings. So now you're now that one star is going to forever haunt us. We're never gonna get a we're never gonna get a sponsor. We're never gonna get a sponsor. And this is problematic because this costs me a lot of money to produce. It does, it does. But I mean, I guess thanks for the compliment, but I <laughs> I also now we have 4.9 stars with 1200 ratings. So thank you to everyone who is leaving five star ratings. Yep. Um, we will never read another one star again. So if you nope. do it, like you we're do going it, to you're going to get deleted, reported and probably prison. Um, hi, Justine and Jenna. I love your podcast. I think it's amazing. Thanks <laughs> and keep up the great work. <laughs> Greetings from Venezuela. Oh my goodness. Hello from across the pond. Prison. I don't know which pond because I'm not really good with geography. Here's also the thing. I can never find the audio messages on Anchor. Because it's been so long, they've probably updated the app. They actually did. They It looks new. Episodes. There's like a little, okay, tools. I'm a tool. Oh, here it is. Do people still say that? Do they? Here we go. You still have not connected your phone to Bluetooth. Get out of here. Okay, here's one. Okay, it's from Caleb six days ago. Hi Tyler, Justine and Jenna. My name is Caleb and I live in Australia. I just wanted to encourage you and say good job for all the wonderful things you were doing, inspiring people all around the world. And I hope you all have a great day. Bye. Thank Caleb, you. Caleb, thank you so much. That was fantastic. Honestly, it's weird because like I feel like I haven't, like I mean I've been making videos but it's just been such a grind of like creating content and then just moving on to the next thing that sometimes like stopping and having somebody be like, hey, good job. like. Yeah. We appreciate your content. Like it honestly means That's so, so nice. much. Like, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, you are the best podcast on Spotify. Oh, oh my gosh. Can Whoa. we please send that to Spotify? We should send it to Spotify. We, we need Spotify to know. We're, I'm going to send that to everybody so that everybody will know. Be like, Apple, this could be you, but you play it. Yeah. Spotify. What's up? Oh. Hi, same brain. Hi. Your videos are very good. Thank you. Have a nice day. It actually sounded like you guys were on a phone call. <laughs> like, did somebody call you? Yeah. I had a live live chat. Yeah. Um, thank you guys for the, the voicemail messages. You guys can leave those on anchor.fm slash same brain. 
Hey, did you know that there was the Roadcast podcast competition that just happened? I did. Yeah, I was one of the judges. You were the judge. That was incredible. It was so fun because like I, we got to listen to like many little episodes. Like there were so many submissions. That it was so, awesome. That is so, I know I saw that. I was reading like the comments and the tweets and stuff. Like this is so cool. I really, I enjoyed that. And I think that was a very nice thing that they did. Yeah. We incredible. love Road so, so much. Did you see that little thing that they came out with the other day? It was, um, it was like a little, like a little tool. Yes. The little tool. Like an adapter. Yes, an adapter for like multiple size, uh, like tripod plate heads. Yeah, I, I like that like, a lot. This is so cool. I wanted to research more about it, but I saw it and was like, I want it. I'm going to look at it later and then I forgot. Yeah, I'm thinking it's hard to look at you. I'm not looking at you. I am, this is such an unflattering angle. This is terrible. Like and my leg is up, like, like my, my socks are dirty. I, guys, I just want to let you know, we're recording this at 10 o'clock at night. I woke up at, so I woke up at 6.30, okay? You did, she, she did. I haven't slept for- when was the 4th of July? A long time ago. I haven't really slept since the 4th of July because the dog has just been terrified on the East Coast. We were on the East Coast. Mm-hmm. I have been here for a very long time. So with the 4th of July, fireworks, we've had storms every night. The dog basically is just terrified of any sound. So he keeps me up. So I haven't slept. So today, I was like, I, I have to get my work done. <laughs> so I woke up at 6.30. I did the Peloton bike. I did a boot camp. I got ready, put makeup on. You said, I'm coming back. And we're going to film this podcast. And yeah. I said, Okay. So I've had makeup on for a really long time. Well, like, I mean, I said we were going to film the podcast today, but wait, wh- why, what did we do? How did we not do it? Why did we, why did we not do it? Cause I was waiting for you. Like I got my stuff done. I was done with my work by 1230. Um, kind of like I was done with my work by like two and I was just like waiting for you. And you were just like, every time I came down here, you were just on your phone scrolling through your Instagram and TikTok. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, I was like, what did I do all day? Because I was going to shoot a video and then I had to get done the, uh, I posted those international apple watch band videos that's fair <clears throat> so i finished editing that and then i had to edit down basically 22 watch bands unboxing in 30 seconds yeah that's a lot and i used to think sometimes i'd be like oh yeah like making tiktoks is easy making like what um the long form content is fine and then when i'm trying to cram all of that into like a short form piece to it's still hard. tell a story incredibly difficult and even editing like i feel like that's the same thing too i'm like oh i'm just gonna make a tiktok real quick or a reel and i'm like wait a minute this is taking way longer than i thought and today i actually had to film three instagram stories for a project i'm doing it took me 45 minutes actually maybe longer because i showered got ready put on makeup got the light got a real camera put on my mic that took like an hour and 15 minutes sat down and then had to like think about what to say so that it was like correct. Mm-hmm. That took, I sat there for 35 minutes trying to record three Instagram stories. I get it because I have the same struggle and it's weird because like most people, I feel like creators that are just doing like TikTok and stuff, like they'll just film it on their phone and that's it. I'm like, well, no, I got to set the light. Let's get mic'd up. Let's make sure the audio is good. And does it matter? No, yes, it does because it looks good. So I use the Sony a7S III with the 50 millimeter 1.2 lens and we were talking about it. It's so... It's so unbelievably, like this lens is so it's nice, so but like on 1.2, it'll focus on like, yeah, like your nose or like your, like just like your face and then everything else is just so out of focus and like the bokeh is real. I made a big mistake. I should have had you check to see what my frame looked like in this video that I shot. So I shot it with a 50 at 1.2. The only thing that's in focus is like my face, <laughs> like this part of my face, the rest of my body, I looked like a freaking floating face did you have a second camera no you never shoot 1.2 with that second camera if you're going to be talking about stuff no i only have one camera what was it i shot one camera and no I, close-ups of things no the problem i, I shot separate close-ups oh later. Okay, okay 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 but the problem was my head was floating because the focus was so shallow and like the camera was so close. And originally when I'd first looked at the shot and tested it, I was back farther, but for some reason I moved up. <laughs> oh yeah, so no, here's no, a little, no, no. Here's a little picture uh, that I'd sent Tyler and, and the crew of my floating face. You guys will see this video soon. <laughs> so what I've been doing since we are traveling and like, you know, it's kind of hard to see the tiny little screen, the flip out screen, which by the way, flip out screen, incredible. Mm. Um, I've just been using the Sony imaging edge to connect to my phone so that I can have a closer up view of what's actually happening. And I don't have to get up to hit record. I just hit the button and record from my phone as well as using this as a monitor that's closer. That's a really good idea. And Thank I totally you. should have done that. It's hey, like look. a free idea. Hey, look. Cause you already have your phone. I'm extra lounging now. Oh, I can't, I don't want to upset the dog. So we're 
there's a lot going on. Hey, um, people are like, why are you on the East Coast? Uh, <sighs> just some family things happening on the on the East Coast, and we're yep. just here to support. But then, what's what? I have rats. Oh, well, the reason that Jenna's not going back I, is because she can't. I don't have anywhere to go. She doesn't have a home. I forgot about that. So, yeah. You've been gone for so long. Like, get the this, whole guys. Pandemic, the whole pandemic happened. You know, we weren't able to come home. So, we're coming home, you know, hanging out, whatever, making ourselves cozy in the basement. Um, at this point, I've already been here for two months. Uh, I get word that there's a leak. Okay? So, there's a leak. I'm like, what? There's a leak? No way. So, basically... My landlord, I don't own the place, thankfully. Landlords, everyone's very incredible. Thankful to have friends, family, everyone who took quick action. Put all the stuff in storage. Justine, you came over, grabbed all my electronics. Um, basically, these rats got into the building because they did tree, like they were cutting palm trees and they were on the roof and through the roof, they somehow got through the building. And Wait, in, the rats were in the palm trees? The rats were in the palm trees. They were cutting palm trees. So then the rats moved to the top of the building, which from the building, there were 19 openings. Those 19 openings went to where I lived. So in the ceiling, these rats were in the ceiling. They were chewing through the sprinkler system, causing obviously a lot of damage because that was like pressurized. Wait. Rats were in the prom trees? Yeah, rats were climbing up the trees. Okay, so wait, 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 wait. You've never seen a rat in a palm tree? No. Did you ever look? No. So they were in the palm trees. They cut the rats down. They, well, they, got the tree. they were <laughs> trimming the trees. Trimming the trees. Which, you know, scared the rats. So the rats then jumped to the roof. Um, so How do you know this? Well, Did they, they tell you that? Yeah. Not so like they, I was like, I didn't, yeah. They, so they I, told, I, have, they, I have not been back. Well, yeah, but I, I know, but they told you that the rats were in the palm trees this is and they, they jumped. This is what they were assuming. That they're all, I mean, or else the rats climbed up the side of, which is the building. I'm so confused. Tall. I'm so or confused. Or else the rats climbed the building. So anyway, okay, but 19 the, openings. The, 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 closed the, they closed, they, they found the openings in the roof. They closed them. How can you have that many openings in a roof? Rats? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's really a whole thing. Anyway. Okay. So, anyway. So these rats, whatever, the, the. Um, like the handyman guy, he's, he's incredible has, you know, oh God, we had another leak one time. I, I, my refrigerator was just pouring out water cause there was a hole in some metal pipe, metal, metal pipe. Anyway, yeah. he's great. He showed up like 5 30 AM. They have to basically rip a hole in the ceiling. They're like, okay, rats, there's droppings. There's a nest like this, this rat family of rats have really Living. just taken over. There's chew marks throughout the pipes. Picture the ceiling there, you know, they take a hammer. They're just in the ceiling. They're like, okay, yeah, this is bad. So then there's <laughs> another side wall. They rip that out. The next day, another leak happens. Keep in mind that I'm not able to come back. So like my landlords, like people are handling this. Like it's, I, I'm just getting updates and I'm like, I am so useless because trying to fly from Pittsburgh to LA, it's is basically terrible. impossible. Um, so anyway, not able to come back, just relying on people to you're just relying on people, which is and very stressful. I did go back because I had to film a bunch of things and had a bunch of work and had to bring some stuff back. So I went and checked and I just walk in. I'm like, yeah. oh my God, this I go, place, give me an update. You're like, it is destroyed. Like it looks like some sort of home renovation gone wrong. Yeah, yeah. So the rats happen. They fixed, they temporarily fixed the leak. It's like, well, we can't really replace the pipe until we figure out the rat problem. Next day, worse problem, worse, worse just the floors, everything, the things that happened, I guess it happened like overnight. So anyway, the rats attack again, worse. It's a two-story building and um, it is seeping down through the walls, it, just a giant mess. So that week they have to come, they rip out the whole ceiling, they rip out the wall, they rip out the ceiling. All this stuff had to be moved to storage because no one knew where the rats were going to strike next. Yeah. And then I came in, took all of your like important electronics, like camera stuff, laptops. I'm like, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> so no one knew what to do. And no. at this point, the rats have moved to the neighbors. So not only were the rats in this unit, the rats have moved on to like the neighbors, like everyone was getting the rat attack. Well, yeah. If you can have a feast elsewhere, like you're not, you're going to go out you exactly. know you're gonna so, go to venice have a snack you're gonna go to santa monica get your dinner they just went they just went next door um so I, they were now having the rat pop so the thing was these rats were not under control so they were moving i was like so they can move back they can move to above my office like they could do this like this is gonna be a lot of damage yeah. so yeah basically the place is just torn apart they don't know how long to fix it they said doing it quickly could be 30 days it's already been three weeks uh reasonable amount of time 60 days but there's a lot of moving pieces. You have to deal with the um, pest control, the rats, just make sure they get them. You're dealing with 
HOA, you're dealing with insurance, other insurance agencies, doing with like, you know, my insurance, uh, dealing with. Um, it sucks. Contractors. Just. And then. And then. Oh. So the 4th of July happened, okay? This is good. Nobody was in for five days. Not a single person was in the unit for five days. No one, no one, no one, no one. This is great. Get an email. Or my landlord sends it and says, oh, hey, we need to halt all uh, all work because rats don't like noise. They don't like light. They don't like people. So we really need to, like, just give them a break so that we can, you know. Take care of the take, problem. Take care of the problem. We, we needed to not disturb them. I said, what about the four days, five days that no one was, you know, the holiday weekend? I was like, you're giving the rats another vacation. Yeah, they got so a vacation. The rat, I keep calling it the rat vacation. It's a whole thing. So I don't know. That, that's a very long story as to why I don't, I'm on the East Coast for <laughs> forever. And people are like, why don't you just stay with your sister? She's a millionaire. And I'm like, first off, this is my problem. First of all, taxes in, in California, like. It's- yeah, a million dollars. What, where are you getting your information from? <laughs> but it was what? just so stupid. Like, you can stay with your sister. You're fine. I'm like, I can, but you also don't have that much space. And also. This y- is my home. Yeah. And I mean, I'm with all-, all my things. Yeah, but like the point is like, we've also have been coming here to visit family so we can easily stay here. But the, also the thing that sucks is you don't even know where your stuff is because they literally came in and took all your stuff to storage. No, and the, my plan was, I was like, this is going to be fine. I'll come here, visit. I'm going to go back for a week, you know, at a time. Binge, binge shoot, not binge shoot, bulk shoot, all my stuff. I have my camera set up. I have everything set up just how it's supposed to be. I'll go knock out a bunch of videos, handle all this. And like- now, if I go back, it's like, okay, I'm going to shoot at your house, which it's like your set. And everyone's like, you're just copying your sister. And then I have to deal with those trolls in the comments. And I'm like, I don't know where any of my things are. I don't have my house. I don't even know where my clothes are. Like, there's just people in and out all day long, except for the rat vacation. Rat vacation. it's like, my things are in there. Like, I don't even know. So it's just, it's very stressful. And like, honestly, like, yeah, you do have room, but like, you don't have enough room. I mean, yeah. And especially if I'm filming there all day too, like, where are you going to Where film? do I go? Where are you going to work? Where I do mean, I stream? I have maxed out my house as far as production goes. Like there's barely room for myself. Like yeah. every single place is a set. Every room is storage. I mean, I was even like the, the guest room is basically the server room. So I that's know. where I have all of the networking stuff at. Um, yeah. So it's, it's like, yeah, there's room. I mean, you can definitely stay there. No, I mean, and like, I'm, you know, like I'm going to, but it's just like, it's, it's, I don't know. Like, I am very fortunate. Like, yes, I've been staying with my sister and like, I can stay with you, stay with my parents, but it's just like work-wise, like I have not been able to do anything. And I guess mentally too, I'm just exhausted from life, but I no. don't know. The, it's, it's frustrating. Well, and it's like the thing too, is like people can say whatever they want, but they don't understand the situation that we're in either. So no, it's like, don't. you just can say whatever. You don't know what's happening. You yeah. don't, you don't know. You don't. And well, you only know what we tell you and we don't tell you everything. And, so the, just, and then they're like, why don't you just like rent like an Airbnb? And I'm like, well, that would make sense. But like, also we don't have a timeline of like w- anything that's happening in our lives. So yeah. it's like, if maybe we need to be here, maybe we need to be here. And like I said, like, they're like, oh, we don't know like how long it'll be for the construction. So I'm like, and dealing with insurance, the insurance people have not been great yeah and so like you can maybe just you know bill whatever you can you know if you want to book something like we're happy to book you somewhere but or if you want you can book it and like well maybe we'll pay you back and I'm like maybe you'll pay me back I'm but like, there's nowhere to stay renting no. places is tough even if you guys wanted to like buy something things are so expensive in Los Angeles now like it's impossible it's yeah because it is such a seller's market everyone's like selling their house and that's the thing I was like looking up Airbnbs summer Airbnb anywhere expensive it's, and it's just it's really a, a yeah. whole thing and it's just a lot and I'm like whatever I'm just gonna I'm just gonna sit in the basement <laughs> you've been sitting so I've just been sitting in the basement yeah we haven't done a podcast in a while we we're gonna do one I think it was like a couple Saturdays ago when I was home and you were here I told you I had makeup on I said I got makeup on I'm filming today I'm not sure what I did that day well, it's you hard didn't to say. Hit, you didn't hit me up with the podcast I didn't we still up. need to get our sister our other sister on the podcast, but like she has a job and like a kid. And let me tell you what, as someone who has been in her house around her hectic lifestyle of having a child, uh-uh. I am exhausted mm-hmm. and I'm not even taking care of the child because I still have to like work. Like, I mean, not, I, I don't know how to phrase it. Like, I don't have time to do that. I can't take care of a child. What's well, crazy. Cause it's like, we all have like a different sense of hectic schedules. Like our schedule is hectic in a different way. Whereas yeah. having a kid is also incredibly hectic. And I, I just, it is not for me. And I know that. 
No, it's too, I don't know how people, I do not know how people no idea. work or work from home while raising children because even like I'll go to do something and like, um, you know, our, either our parents or my sister's in-laws, like they, you know, when Brie and her husband are working, like they'll be watching the baby and I'll just go up to like grab like a snack. Usually I'm grabbing, <laughs> grabbing a snack and grabbing food and I'll like hang out for a little bit and like we'll play and I'm like, oh my gosh, two hours have gone by because like she wanted to play or she wanted to do this or then I have to go and like walk the dog or feed the dog and I'm like, okay, now four hours have gone by. How did I just lose four hours of not doing anything productive? Props to you parents. I, it's tough. I, I can't even, I honestly don't know. I don't know how you do it. I can barely handle myself. I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't. I don't know. And like having the dog, and then sometimes there's two dogs here. So there's like two dogs and like a baby, and trying to film because we are in the basement. Mm -hmm. So it's you're really hearing loud, and her small feet can be very, very loud. So stompy. Yes, yeah, so stompy. She is so cute though. We, it's oh my been gosh. very nice. She's at like a really nice age. So pref I would prefer this age. Like when she was a baby, I'm like you don't like do anything. She was like a little like like a little like a little slimy slug. Yeah, now kind of she's like a, so cute. Like I've been having so much fun, like yeah. teaching her stuff, making her say words that she shouldn't say. No, she. Sh we don't teach her anything bad. But let me, no, she's, not the, not bad, but just like oh, like just like something silly, like stupid stuff, like smacking your belly. That I'm like, I was like, Rrr. I like, think she was saying turd the other day. <laughs> <laughs> turd. I forget. We taught her elbow today. Yeah, like she's at a nice little age where. Like she's learning and Everything. she's like saying stuff and she's very, very persistent. She'll say, Jenna, sit. And when she like wants me to sit next to her and she'll say, Ma I like when she says Maddie, she's like, Mahi, like Maddie. And she, she loves animals. My favorite thing is the fact that like when anybody's here, like there's, there's always like a bunch of people, like our family, whatever. And we all put our shoes by the door. She knows whose shoes belong to who. Yes, and there is like a lot of shoes there. And if people have multiple shoes, like she knows that people have multiple shoes. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go for a walk. She will go over and grab, she will bring Maddie's harness to him and our sister's dog, Bo, she will bring Bo's harness to him <laughs> and the leash. She's not even two yet. Like she knows which harness goes to which dog, which shoes go to which person. I had two pairs of shoes up there and she picked both of mine. Yeah, it's, she's very smart. It's like, like how did you even know that? And then the one, I was trying to do this like bubble machine with her. I was like, Bryn, where do I put these bubbles? And she just showed me. And I was like, I feel, yeah, I feel embarrassed because I am old and you are young and you had to show me how. She's pretty smart. She's very smart. But yeah, it's been really I'm nice impressed. hanging out with her. Um, we're, we're buds now. Yeah, she also, another thing that's really funny is she will see our drinks around. Yeah. Like she will bring me a smart water. She'll bring me a yerba mate and just be like, Jess, Jess. And she knows that like I drink the skinnier can, the the sparkling one. She's like, Jen. And she she loves the iPhone and loves typing on computers. She'll see my laptop, she'll go, type, type. And she'll like give it to me to open up for her. Or she'll see my phone, she goes, Apple. She'll say, Jenna, so Apple. And then today she said iPhone. I know. She said it clear as day, she said iPhone. And I'm I was like, like oh, you said iPhone. We're related. Um, Brie. Another, oh my God, Brie is here. She's in her jammies. She is in her jammies. Hey, did you get me band-aids? Okay. She did not get band-aids. Okay, any band-aids, please? What's up, Brie? Brie, Brie, Brie. We were talking, we talking about how we don't know how you work and raise a child. She said it's exhausting. She I'm said exhausted. It. Like I said, I don't even babysit ever. Like I just like, will sometimes babysit. Like, hey, can you watch her for a second? And like, we'll play outside. Remember the day that we had her for like four hours <gasps> and we were panicking and hoping that she didn't poop because we wouldn't, we didn't know what to do about that. I mean, like you we, know what to do. We don't want to do it. We don't want to do it. Like yeah. this, my plan was like, okay, we get, we take the diaper off. And off we, the diaper. And then we just like hose her off. We just like take the, her into the bathroom and the bathtub and just like hose her off. Yeah. I was like, that's what we do. Yeah, we did have her for four hours, but that was a long four it was, hours. It was, it was the longest four hours. And like, of my she, life. Is, she doesn't like take naps. Like, she, when she's awake, like, she is awake. It is nonstop action, like, bam, 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 action. She loves controllers as well. She'll always mm -hmm. grab like the Xbox controllers, PlayStation controllers, remotes. She'll say, Mote. she really loves expensive cameras as well. Yes, she, she picks up, oh my gosh, she picked up two of my lenses. She likes to carry stuff around. She picked up my 50 millimeter and my, uh, two of my G Master lenses. I'm like, you're holding $5,000 in your hand. I'm like, I, please put that down. I know. And then she was pushing buttons over here on the Roadcaster today. And then also uh, I went to put on a chapstick. With, it's, it's got like a little color to it. And I was like, huh, there's like a finger mark in this. And then I came over to Jen. I go, did Bryn get a hold of my chapstick? Yes. It was on her face. And I was worried she hit her face. I was like, oh, you have a boo-boo. And I like, 
statement like that, I'm like, oh, that's just red lipstick. <laughs> so this oh, is what, what we've been up to. Um, a lot of basement um, action, a lot of niece action, a lot of West Virginia storms, fireworks, scared. Yeah, Maddie doesn't like the word storm. Yeah. Um, I'm, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where any of my things are. I lost my passport where thankfully a viewer, well, not thankfully because it's still missing. I tweeted about losing my passport. And a viewer said, well, in this episode, you said, if you lose your passport, this is where it is. And this is wild because I don't ever remember saying this. And I also don't remember, well, I kind of vaguely remember this, but I also feel like somebody else was in the car and I was telling them, okay, this is Jenna's passport. I'm putting it here. But the problem is- The problem is- I have I been don't in, think there was anybody else in the car with me. I think that was me I just talking just to myself. You. I've been using like borrowing like my parents, like my sister's car. Cause like I said, I've been here for so long. I've, I have actually been living out of a suitcase for three months, living out of a suitcase with my gear backpack and like my little backpack with like my wallet and my stuff. So like, I've just had things everywhere. And then I did go back to LA one time for like four days. And I was like, did I bring my passport to LA? Did I bring it back? So then that podcast confirmed that I did bring the the passport back this last time because we filmed that what July 8th July June 8th June 8th um yeah June oh my god June. that was <laughs> so long ago yeah and I came back like June 4th but then when did I come oh, I came back with you we came <sighs> back together we came back together but you left again I stayed I did. here so yeah which was really we're really fun. trying to talk this through really to really just like figure ago. it out this is this has been the, the the, the math here and then my parents were like well we think we saw your passport as well but we don't know if we moved it and I was like well I don't know if I moved it and I was like I remember at one point it was here but anyway going back and watching that um podcast of where I said oh I'm gonna lose my passport and I, and I can't believe it and, and put it I out said there in the that. universe and I said that I put it in the glove compartment but it's not there yeah and that's the thing I don't know like I've just I've I've had so many different things it's so many different locations it's like I don't like, I like, I never really liked having, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, what's, what do you mean? You've never liked having, I don't know. It's really hard to say. What do you not like having? I don't know, like I love traveling, but like now I don't have any stability. Oh, you, you want stability. Not really. I just want like my own little space. So like, I need to figure out like, do I just move? Do I wait for the place to be done? I don't know. And it's hard because there's really nowhere to move to. There is. And I look every day and now, okay. So I actually got a digital version of my vaccine card today. My I've vaccination had one. Card. I sent you that link before. No, no, the real one. It's in my, in my Apple, my wallet. Oh, it's real. Oh, yeah. I sent you that screenshot. Yeah. But uh, do I no, get it? No, it's a real official from. How did you get it? They texted me. They said, Hey, fill this out for your digital version of your um, vaccine card. Oh. And I was like, do you think maybe tomorrow they'll text me? Hey, type this, fill this out for your digital passport and didn't you say it takes 12 weeks now to i saw jess sims from peloton mm -hmm. she said hey is there any anyone know how to get an expedited expedited password because i applied to get an expedited password and it says it's at least 12 weeks oh my god i just want to go to greece i saw that everyone's in greece and not mm -hmm. everyone but i'm like man that looks so nice and i'd like to go for somewhere for like my birthday yeah maybe we can do hawaii for your birthday yeah that sounds nice we haven't been i know this is not that's still not that long of a time but we haven't been since March 2020. I know. Since literally a couple weeks before the world shut down to the for, pandemic. For us, that's a while because we would always go there for projects and to film. Yeah, a couple times a year. Yeah, we would usually family do vacations. my birthday, your birthday, and then we would take the family in October. Yeah, I I don't know. My spirits are just low because I don't have stability and I lost my passport and my home is infested <sighs> with rats. I know, I feel really bad. It's honestly not like... It's not that big of a deal because like there's bigger problems in the world, but, but also for you as an individual, it's not good. And being also on the East coast, like it's just, it's not, I don't know. It's just, I feel like you're so accustomed to, you know, we have, you can walk to whole foods. You can yeah. do all these like simple, small things where I can ride my little bike to the beach. I can have fast Wi-Fi. Oh, the internet. That's the also the problem. Struggle. Cause like our parents' internet's really bad. Well, I also feel like I'm just like in the way, like I'll go upstairs and like, this isn't my kitchen. Mm -hmm. Like, I just feel like I'm in the way. Yeah. I don't like that, which I realize I can, yeah. Everyone's like, you just book a hotel. Like, yeah, I could book a hotel. But the thing is, is it's like, am I going to take all of my things to a hotel down the street to and, sit there? And they're not, like, there's not that good of options either. Like, no, and, and like, there's not really Airbnb. And expensive. And it is expensive. Yeah. And that's where I'm like, okay, well, I'm not paying rent. So like, okay, I'm cool. I'm saving money there, but I am losing more money by not really working 
than I would be if I, it's a whole thing. And it's like my mental, I can't get past my mental blockage of like wanting to be motivated or do anything. So that's, that's the hardest part yeah. for me. Well, it's hard when you're not in your space or have your things and you don't, and everything's just everywhere. Cause even like I went back to LA for like two weeks or something, maybe mm-hmm. a little more. And like, I got back in the groove. I, and just as I started like editing and shooting and had everything set up again. And then I came back here and I was like, oh no. Yeah. It's like you're, it's, it's weird. Cause it's like, you're back to like what we grew up in, like what we know. I'm just like, oh, I don't know, like whatever. Like it's not like a vacation, but it's like my mentality of where I'm not like in my space where I work, mm-hmm. but I've been here for so long. It should, it should be different. Yeah. And also I feel like I forget that I can go places. Cause I feel like when I, like, yeah. I'm like, it's not really my car. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's weird though. Cause I'm driving my old, old car. Cause my parents bought that one off of me whenever I got my new car. So I'm still technically driving my car, but it's like not my car. So I don't want to like drive it far or like, I don't know. It's strange. I don't know either. I just, and then I'm like, well, where do I even want to go? I don't know. And then we still have to worry either. about the pandemic. Like that's still, it's still a concern. We've oh man, got the humidity. Delta humidity. Oh, humidity is bad. so crazy on the East Coast. Well, I saw that now they have the mask mandate back. Today, um, when we're recording this, they put it back for indoor indoor Here's um, the thing. things in Los Angeles. If you weren't a liar and would lie about getting your vax, like you can't trust that someone's like, oh no, I did it. We have literally have heard people say they're not vaccinated and like, I've, like we've heard them say, I'm not vaccinated. I just tell them I'm vaccinated so I don't have to wear my mask. I'm like, actually, like this, it was like an older guy that said it too. And I was just like looking at him like, oh, okay. Um, good story. Yeah. So I'm going to back up a little bit now because I don't want any of that, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know, who Which, knows? He, but here's the thing. It's like, if you don't want to get vaccinated, like honestly, that's your choice. But like, don't lie about it. Yeah. Wear, yeah. wear the mask so that you're protecting other people. I mean, if we learned yourself. anything from the past four years, it's that you can't please everyone. No. And it's just impossible. It's, impo- it's impossible. And people are going to fight no matter what. So no. I'm just, you know what? I'm just staying in the basement. And I know a lot of people who have had COVID who are still having lasting effects from it. So yeah, and eight it's, months later. Yeah, which is like absolutely terrible and traumatizing. And, you know, it's it's sad to see that. And- it's not an isolated incident, you know, no. it's, it's happening to a lot of people and a lot of people that we know. So it's like, yeah, it's, it's just very, very yeah. scary. But even the mask thing I was, so I was talking to the neighbors. I'm basically a local in the neighborhood. I was talking <laughs> to the, to the neighbors. A lot of these people are doctors up here and pharmacists. And, um, I was like, yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm vaccinated, but I still wear my mask, you know, at work. And I was like, yeah, I, you know, I wear mine, you know, if I'm in like in stores or whatever, I was like, honestly, I haven't been sick in a year and a half. So like, right. that's been great. The only time I had any type of like sickness was only because I got my vaccine, the second shot when I had a little bit of fever and I had some symptoms and it was gone within 24 hours. But like when I had the flu, like when I've had, you know, that yeah. one weird time I had a weird strain of strep throat mm-hmm. from after CES, like, okay, what am I, 12? Um, <laughs> I haven't been sick. And I'm like, for me, like, that's, that's great. Like, I don't miss being sick. I, I like being you know healthy and- I will never get on a plane ever, ever again without Mm-mm. wearing a mask because yeah. we, now we know that people don't wash their hands. Yeah, like what do you guys cover your mouth when you're coughing? Um, so I have been doing some activities again when I ba- went back to Los Angeles. I uh, went to Disney, had the best time ever. I It was wow. so much fun. Got there around 7.30 in the morning. Early. Didn't oh, leave the microphone. until almost 10 p.m. Oh God, the longest exhausting. thing ever. I think like I walked like 15 miles. It was absolutely crazy. Ate every piece of delicious food in the park. Yum. And built a lightsaber at wow, Saudi's wait. workshop. It was so great. This, the You got a chance to go to the Star Wars galaxy before me. So I went galaxy, uh, before me. It was like press day. It was like before it was even open. My friend and I, I don't know if I, um, I'm maybe, I don't know if I, I, well, you know what? It's fine. My friend and I, we went to Disney, my friend Adam, and- we were walking around, walking around. We're like, let's just go check it out. Let's just go look. Like they're having a press event, early access. And we're looking. And this kind woman and her daughter came out. And they were like, they're like she goes, let me see your wrist. And I'm like, that is a weird request. <laughs> and I show her my wrist. She goes, okay, I think this is going to work. She's like, do you guys want to go in? And we're like, <gasps> we're like, what do you mean? She's like, we're leaving. My daughter and I are leaving. If you can slip on this wristband, She's like, you should go in. Like the event was kind of ending. So it was not many people were left there and it was like an hour out. So 
We shove this <gasps> wristband. <gasps> I thought my wrist was going to break. Shove it on my wrist. Adam shoves it on his. We go inside. There's probably like 50 to 100 people. Wow. Like less than. We go, we ride the rides. We get the, the slushy. Is there a slushy drink? Yeah, um, I, got the, I got the blue milk. Yeah, I know. That's what I got. We get really that good. and like we walk. We literally just walk. What's the, what's the ride called? Rise of the Resistance. Is that what it is? That's the one, yeah, that takes you in okay. the ship. Yeah, I mean, this was so long ago. We walk straight up and walk on wow. with no line, no people. We just go on. We, we, I was the, um, the gunner. So, oh, no, you were doing, so the, right. that, did you, no, so there's two different rides. I forget what Which that one's was, called. That was a, the Rise of the Resistance is the one that takes you on like different planets. No, 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 I wasn't on that one. I was on you, the, Did you not do that one? No. You didn't do Rise of the Resistance? No. <gasps> we have to go back. Oh yeah. We gotta go back. No, that ride is actually really cool. I forget what it's called, but it was actually really fun because you get to fly the ship and then also you can man the the, the, the It gun. happened so quickly. Like I got a picture outside of like no one. It was just great. I was like, this is, and it happened honestly was within like 30 minutes. So the thing now that you have to do is to ride Rise of the Resistance, it might've actually not been ready. Well, I don't I, think it, I don't know if it, this was, yeah, before. But, um, so you have to log into the Disney app at 7 a.m. and then again at 12 p.m to get a chance to get on the virtual line. So then when you get that, then you can get in the actual line. Really? So, yeah. So it's for that ride, for the Rise of the Resistance, and then also the Marvel, um, the Avengers oh, it's Campus. it's the Millennium Falcon ride. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm an idiot. Well, I, <laughs> I forgot like, I what it was too. I was like, I took a picture in front of the <laughs> Millennium Falcon. It was Millennium Falcon. I was like, I think it was, I'm like oh I said, my, God. I, my mental, like, capacity state. and state is like just not great and it's like 10 30 at night so the fact that you didn't ride rise of the distance is actually quite exciting because then we have to go back i oh it's such a good time and you're i'm really not convincing me with this line situation no it's great because you hardly wait in line because you oh, do it virtual oh. but what if you don't get accepted then you try how do you again get, how do you get in is it like do you have to buy separate tickets to go to the no star wars park? no it's just is a part it, of disney isn't that what you had to do before no but i had to buy a separate ticket for to to build the um to build the uh lightsaber because when this first started you had to get separate tickets to go to the galaxy's edge right no yeah you did i don't know i'm pretty sure uh, well when it first opened up you had to like or like apply or something to get in no for rise of the resistance the ride at 7 a.m <clears throat> you open up the disney app and you hit a button that says i want to want to ride the ride and then you get into a virtual line and then that's it okay jenna's googling it to see so this opened May 31st, 2019. God, it was so great. It was absolutely incredible. Um, I also went and saw, I went to the first, to my first. We went to Disney in December, 2018. We went with Ro. That's when we had the private tour. That was so fun. It was so much fun. Um, I went and saw Black Widow. Black Widow in the movie theater. We saw, what movie did we see on Disney Plus? Cruella. Dude, it was so good. Cruella was great, it. but uh, no, it was um, uh, Black Widow. I thought it was incredible. I, I really loved it. I, I didn't went, watch I went it to yet. the movie theater. You and went to the movie a theater? A lot of people didn't have masks on, and I was like, mm-mm. Well, how do you eat your popcorn? Well, you got to take it down. I had my mask on, and I was still eating my popcorn. I Actually, just let you know the things that I have done in May of 2019. This is, this is insane. This is crazy. What have you done? Dude, I went. Oh my God, let me scroll back. Okay, May 2019. I, Here we go. Um, got a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> I went to, is that Disney World? Where is this? Is it, I can't is figure. Is Joshua Tree? Oh my gosh, I went to freaking. Yosemite? Is that the Grand Canyon? Zion? I went to the Grand Canyon. Grand Canyon, That's Maddie, Maddie escaped. At, Maddie at the Grand Canyon. Okay, I went to the Grand Canyon. Oh my gosh, fantastic time. I went to. And I was like, it's still the Grand Canyon. I took a lot of pictures of the Grand Canyon. I feel like I was probably I was having, on a plane. Oh, I, look, we went to, this is when we were planning out um, camera camp. So I went to mm -hmm. Glacier National Park by myself. Yeah, I think I was probably having a bad time in that, that month or year. I was going to say, why weren't you there? That's uh, strange. I had a bad 2018 so, to 2020. So I was in, something. I went to Glacier National Park and um, to figure that out. That's pretty cool. I apparently took baby pictures not baby pictures um engagement no not engagement um announce announcement? baby announcement photos for no that wasn't in may yeah no it wasn't may look How about look, that we went to um oh we went to, we the, went to the fairmont, fairmont in san diego oh we oh, shot the wow, jaguar wow. video 
What the heck? I went to Palm Springs and I was feeding a giraffe. Oh my God, you're doing so many oh things. Wow. God. I have an iced coffee. I went to Joshua Tree. You know, we used but, to do but, things. What, what was I looking for? I don't know. Is this when I went to Disney? I think it's almost time <gasps> to- Look, wait, I had an Uncrustable wait. on the hike, which we did the Bridge to Nowhere hike. We might have to end this soon because I feel dizzy. <laughs> Hold on, I gotta find- <laughs> <laughs> Like I'm feeling- <gasps> Here it is. So dizzy. Oh my gosh, I have so many pictures. For, look, here's the picture of the band. Okay, I have to favorite this to send to Tyler. <gasps> Justine, this was a day before the ride opened. Oh my God, that's it opened, so, it you're opened so special. It opened May 31st. Okay, I have to cut the name out of the person. Look at this, May 30th. Oh my God, yeah. Adam and I went a day before the park opened to the public. Well, it was crazy because we got there so early that like the park, I don't think was supposed to be open, but like it was still open. So like- went directly to Star Wars land and there was no one there. I got the same picture. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but it but was crazy. There was nobody is, there yet because it was so early. That is, look, not a single person in wow. sight. That's basically how it was when we went and there. And this was the day the before it was about to open. I can't believe it. This is like, a, this is a very boring story, but like, I'm so fascinated. But like, I used to have a life. I, I did so, did you see like how many Star things Wars I did so in much May? more than you? Not a competition. You weren't there. Why weren't you? Why didn't you go to Disney with us? Probably because I was somewhere not having a good time. Whew, I had a great time. I did so <laughs> May 2019. I was really living my life. I want to be like May 2019. Do you want to be maybe I like? I want to be like after, I was in May 2019. after August, maybe like maybe? when is May? Is it after August? It's before it. Huh. My, my, um, we should end this. My thumb. No, this is. My thumb, You're my pinky. pinky, it is itchy. We have big plans tomorrow. We do. It's midnight. I am so excited. I've started training jujitsu again. It's It makes me so happy, even though I'm not very good. That's okay. Have you lost a lot of your skill? I definitely have. <laughs> it's been like a year. And uh, this morning I went and was training. And uh, he's like, do you, uh, he's like, let's go th just, cause like when you start training with somebody new, like they obviously don't know what you know. And I'm like, honestly, I don't even know what I know anymore. I think I forgot everything. He's like, okay, well, let's go through some sweeps. It's like, okay, let's, let's do like a pendulum sweep. I'm like, oh, you know, when you say pendulum sweep, do you, do you mean, you want to show me it first? Yeah, you show, you show <laughs> no, me. Why you show me it first? I'm like, I don't remember anything. Oh God, it sucks. It's okay. It's okay. You'll, you'll get back there. It's, it'll be like riding a bike. <sighs> yeah, oh, yeah. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe. But I'm going to train tomorrow morning in Pittsburgh. Very hyped about it. And then we're going to meet up. <gasps> we're going to Top Golf this weekend. We are going to Top Golf. That's so going to be fantastic. Things are really looking up. We're going to go to like, Vegas. I feel like you need like a hobby when you're here, like to do something. I can't because I don't want to do anything. Yeah, but I honestly, so, you need, I think you need to start fighting. I want you to start fighting so we you can know, fight each other. I think you need to I'm start. I, but my fighting is like, is it would be like, it's like street fighting. That We've already discussed this. I know. We're, you need, What's yeah. it called? Krav, Krav Maga? Krav Maga? Yeah, I think you can do that. You can just do like a I combination. I just like punch people. Great. We're going to work on that. I'm going to get you some classes where you can punch. Jab, jab, cross. <laughs> Wait, I need to get back to uh, fight, fight camp. camp. Dude, did you see they raised $90 million? Yeah. Usha, Usha, Usha. Oh, that's so cool. cool. Yeah, I'm excited for that because once I'm going to be, you know, staying with you once I'm back there. Yeah. And also, so I need to figure out a good location for it because I haven't figured out where to put it. I think you need a projector. I just am doing a TikTok sponsored. No, but projector. Like, think about it, because like you, that, you don't have to have something mounted. Like you could easily yeah. have the projector mounted, have it on the air, ceiling, air dropped to that, so it's like out of the way. Have it go on the wall, because you don't need anything on your wall. I love that. I'm a genius, and that way you can do your classes. I'm I, really, I smiled. She smiled. <laughs> yeah. No, I think that's a good idea, especially if it's in the garage. Yeah, it's great because I can use a remote. I can exactly. have it mounted. Oh, it's great. Good idea, Jen. Thank you. I'm here for the good ideas. Too bad my TikTok uh, Instagram sponsored is in the basement. Right You'll now. accept other sponsors. Yeah. yeah other you. projectors. Because I'm in another projector. Because that's like that's basement projector now. Yeah. Oh, that'll be good. I know. Just so much room. So much room on the East Coast. You know what we could do? We could project it on the ceiling and like lay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. All well, right. I think well, we're done speaking we, now. We are. I'm. I'm gonna be okay. We're all gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get hurt tomorrow. The rats are on vacation, so that's good. That's good. At least they're happy. <laughs> um. Yeah. Let's hope anyway, I don't get any injuries in training tomorrow. I need to put something positive out there in the universe. Yeah. Because the, I, I have a feeling. I've got a feeling. 
uh, Bree said that there's band-aids on the dining room table. This dog's butt is so warm. He's got his butt on me. He's so cute. Um, Positivity. Anyway, positivity. Jenna needs it. I'm fine. She says, you know what? I rode the Peloton four times in her four days in a row. Four, That's good. Four I'm, day glad, I'm glad for you. I'm enjoying the boot camp classes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for listening or watching. If you are listening, you want to watch, we've got a YouTube channel, youtube.com slash same brain. You can also follow us on social media. We're same brain across the board, I think. Um, yeah, pretty much. We need to like start posting on Twitter. Like when we post a new episode too. I don't have the login. I would like that, please. <laughs> okay. If you guys want to leave us five star only reviews um appreciated you can do that apple podcast as well as voice messages anchor.fm slash same brain thank you guys for listening or watching yes you're talking so slow you'll probably <laughs> see me again in the basement i'm so sleepy i uh, me too i gotta go to bed i'm gonna get up early